that time of year to start spring cleaning. I know, if you're like me, I try to avoid it like the plague. <laughs> so today I have with me Brie Reiser, and she is the owner of this lovely DSNO studio, design, style, and organize. She's gonna help us get started on this very overwhelming task. So Brie, Hi, how do we start? I like to start with having a schedule and a list. If you go through and you think of each room individually and think about what do you clean on a regular basis, then take a step back and think in each of those rooms, what don't you clean on a regular basis? Oh God. Right? Exactly. So as we do that, for example, we'll start with the kitchen, thinking about the refrigerator and the freezer. How often do you go in there, take everything out, clean out, wipe everything down? Exactly. <laughs> so that's a good place to start, right? And I don't know about you, but the satisfaction of getting a check mark after everything. <laughs> I'm a girl, like so I totally get that. So. Okay, here we are in the kids' room with a closet, which is always really fun to organize. So Brie, uh, how do we tackle this? So as you can see, um, I like to group like-minded uh, clothes together, so into categories. So here we have all short sleeve, and then we have it color coordinated, so white, yellow, and so on. I kind of think of the rainbow. Sure. And um, as I organize clothes, um, another key tip is as you're putting your clothes in your closet, if they have buttons or zippers, always button things up. It will hang a lot nicer and be a lot more straight in the closet. So every time you go shopping for every item you hang up in that closet, you should be taking something off that hanger and donating it or selling it. So David, when was the last time you went through your refrigerator and freezer and threw things out looking at expiration dates? About a half an hour ago. <laughs> and what about your pantry? When did you uh, last look at expiration dates of all the food in your pantry? There's expiration dates in the pantry? There is. And a lot of times we forget about that, right? So uh, I recently went through mine and I'm a little embarrassed to admit this. However, uh, your spices even have expiration dates. What? So, oh yeah. Oh. Best by June 17th of 2010. Yeah. Mm, they're still alive. <laughs> so even though this has an expiration date, could I still use this? Probably for spices. However, it's a good idea to go through your pantry once a year and you know go through those items that you can throw away. Another area in your kitchen or laundry room of items that do have expiration dates that you probably wouldn't think is cleaning supplies. So look here, we have uh, white vinegar. It has a expiration date on here, uh, May 15, 2021. What about your medications? When was the last time you looked through those for expiration dates? Your cold medicine, your Pepto-Bismol, your NyQuil. 1987? <laughs> right. So I think it's time to go okay. through those again, replenish They still those. work, right? I, I don't know, actually. <laughs> Good idea to go through your house room by room and tackle it and just get rid of the old and buy some new. So who knew spring cleaning can be a very healthy step to a new you. Brie, um, I've been thinking a lot lately about the cleaners in my house mm -hmm. and getting really concerned about all the chemicals that we spread around our environment. I have dogs. <laughs> Um, I've been hearing lately that there are just household items lying around your house that you can make some really great cleaners with. That is very, very true. And we have some examples here. Um, white vinegar is a great cleaning solution for so many different things. Borax and salt, which is, seems a little salt strange. Yes, yeah, salt of the earth. And <laughs> uh, baking soda is another one that's really great. The first thing I think about with cleaning uh, products like this is musty smells. A smelly smell. How many times have you cleaned or washed towels and had that stinky, musty, not so fresh smelling towel? Right, and with the high efficiency washers these days, yep. they're so good at saving water, yep. but what happens is uh, they cause the towels to get a little musty smelling from sometimes, so yeah. Correct, and, and one thing I didn't know for a very long time is you shouldn't use fabric softener with towels. 
Oh. Another little tip, yeah, that I learned actually just recently. So one of the great ways to get that musty smell out is using white vinegar. So you can run a load of wash, um, just doing the wash with nothing in it with the vinegar, and then do your wash, let's say with your towels, and pour some vinegar in with your detergent. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the same goes for the dishwasher as well. You can run a load with uh, But are white my vinegar. clothes gonna smell like vinegar? Not at all, it's magic. Wow. They don't smell like vinegar, it takes the must out, and it, it's amazing. Well, we're on sticky topics. Um, the garbage disposal. So the garbage Ugh. disposal, right. Yeah. So um, some key quick ways to get rid of that smell is cutting up a lemon or an orange, throwing that down your disposal, which seems a little crazy, running cold water, turning on that disposal, let it run for 10, 15 minutes, chop that up, and you have fresh smelling uh, disposal. Wow, and that's so much better than a Febreze or one of those chemical... Ooh. Correct. And then another another quick and easy way too, I don't know if you've heard you can use ice cubes to get the smell out, but what you can do is take an ice tray and use your uh, orange peels or your lemon peels, mm -hmm. put them in the tray and fill it either with water or also with vinegar, throw that down your disposal and voila, it's fresh as new. And you also have leftover ice cubes for cocktails. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you so much for coming because um, I sure didn't know where to start with the spring cleaning and starting with a list and getting some really helpful tips. But some of us don't have all the time in the world to do it, so it might be a good idea to hire a professional to come in and really show you how to do it. I'd love to help. So I'm David from the Wayner Group, and this is Bree Reiser from DSNO Studio. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.